IT specialists have previously had their work cut out securing companies' networks, PCs, networks, and cell phones too. Where so many people need access, there are numerous dangers. But with the Internet of Things, the attack surface is growing rapidly. Shutting down production facilities or machines can be as appealing as it is profitable to hackers. We want to talk to Baramundi about how complex the task of protecting both IT and OT is and how it can be done. My name is Ralph Stepanski. Welcome to the Business Debate. Dr. Dr. Lars Lieber, at this year's Hanover trade show, production security was one of the main topics. How vulnerable are companies in this regard? We are certainly living in exciting times. In recent years, we have seen a rise in the number of cyber attacks, both in IT and OT. When we talk about cyber attacks, we mean the theft of data. We mean sabotage and espionage. It is interesting to note that damages caused by these attacks amount to approximately 55 billion euros per year in Germany. Here the focus of the attacks is on OT, in other words, on production. Some 36% of attacks are in this area, and that is precisely the area we are talking about when we speak about Industry 4.0. If production represents a new, central attack target, what impact does that have on Industry 4.0, where everything is interconnected? And the Today, when we talk about Industry 4.0, we are talking about new business models, new opportunities, and increase in efficiency. It's very, very good that we're talking about that. At the same time, we also have to consider the risks associated with the networking of production, which is what this is about. That will arise in Industry 4.0. The attack scenarios here can be vertical or horizontal. Vertical means I network the various elements in my production, the various endpoints. This means systems that were previously isolated are now in some kind of network. And when they are in a network, they are vulnerable to attack. Horizontal means that I'm working cross-company, which means I can trigger a domino effect. If I have been successful before in an area and have started a successful attack, I can spread that to further areas and to other companies. It is one thing to define weak spots, but what does that lead to? It actually starts with the cataloging, which means that the system should analyze the software and hardware that is in the network. Afterwards, further analysis needs to take place in regard to the weak spots. This involves looking where known weak spots are, possibly where software is installed where it shouldn't be, or where parameters are being used where it is not appropriate. And that brings me to the third point, namely securing. This is about deleting precisely that software or removing precisely those systems from the network which are insecure or ensuring that the correct parameters are available in your system. Finally, in a fourth step, it is about making sure when rolling out or installing software that the new firmware, the new software is available so that the system is as secure as possible. And what is the difference between security in IT and in OT? It's actually not about the system. A system, a management system, such as Baramundi Management Suite, can be used in both IT and OT. Why? Because the terminal devices are very, very similar or identical. In OT, the primary protection goal is the safeguarding of production. In IT, the protection goal is the security of data. It is therefore important to understand what the differences are. And these differences lie less in the system, the management system, than in the process. If the attack surface is wider than ever, as you say, from production through the network to the employer's company cell phones, which are also considered, how does one manage all of that, secure and guarantee it? There are three aspects that are important. On the one hand, it needs to be as extensive as possible. It needs to be able to manage as many terminal devices as possible, ideally all terminal devices. The second aspect is automation. We want to reduce the complexity, so processes, procedures, which are typically always the same, need to be transferred to the system or automated in order to improve efficiency. And the third aspect is that the system should be intuitive. I need to be able to gain an insight at any time into where my system is vulnerable to attack and what the status of my system is. It is this extensive coverage, intuitive interface, and automation that makes the Baramundi management suite stand out. And where will this lead us, let's say, in the next three years? What we are seeing is that devices are getting smarter and smarter. 
these smarter devices make smarter attacks possible. Smarter attacks, in turn, require smarter defense mechanism. Here it is about using artificial intelligence and machine learning mechanisms to respond to these attacks. This is exactly the point that we are currently working on and researching in order to guarantee maximum security for our customers. Dr. Lars Lipper, many thanks for your insights on the industry. I'll see you again for the next business debate. Goodbye.